I just got my hands on a brand new cookbook by Lorena Garcia called New Latin Classics. It's coming out September 27th and the recipes in this book are so amazing. They've inspired me to create something wonderful for your anniversary dinner tonight. We are going to be making Lorena's butternut squash with coconut soup. It's amazing. Ooh, sounds good. It's going to be a lovely first starter for your dinner. The main ingredient in this butternut squash soup is naturally butternut squash. The beautiful thing about this soup is we're going to puree it all together. Okay. Why don't you get the rest of the vegetables in this area and you can chop those and put them into the stovetop pot. Okay. Look at that. Wow. This is going to be a really good soup. You're going to love this. I mean, it's not like it smells much, but when it's cooked, it has a nice little sweet flavor. Now we're going to get the butternut squash ready to bake. We're going to season them with a little bit of olive oil and some black pepper. So we want to make sure that there's enough olive oil to coat all the butternut squash. So just get, get in there nice. I'm going to let you massage the olive oil into the butternut squash. I like the sound of that. Yeah, just get right in there. And while you do that, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Now it's time for us to put our butternut squash into the oven. Okay. Okay, the veggies look lovely. Why don't you add the carrots in there? I'm going to add some olive oil to our veggies. And what we're going to do is we're going to saute these guys. And let's add some more olive oil. Let's add a couple of our bay leaves. This is going to give it even extra added flavor. Lorena was really on point by adding this to her recipe. I tried it out and it's so good. Okay, let's give it one last whirl. There we go. Bay leaves are in. Let's turn it off and let the veggies set. Oh yeah, that looks totally ready. Watch yourself. Let's see. Looks good. Looks really good. Let's do a test. Yes, smooth. You want to try it out? When you put your fork inside, look how soft and smooth the fork comes out. Now that the butternut squash has had an opportunity to set, I'm going to take the skin off, just use my knife and kind of go around it, and then slice um, the squash and put it in with our sautéed vegetables. Okay. Oh, this one's nice. Look how soft and when I just take my blade to it, look at that, it just like glides right off. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Lorena actually has a wonderful recipe in her cookbook for a chicken stock that she's made and it's delicious too. But I've opted to keep a vegetable stock and this whole soup recipe is all veggie. So let's add that over. Looking good. We're going to add the wine, and the wine is there to enhance the flavor of the soup. And I'm going to put a cup of the wine. That's about a cup. Add a little more. Why not? It's a <laughs> celebration. I'm going to let it sit for five minutes over the heat. And you know what we're going to do? Now we're actually going to take the bay leaves out. Now that the vegetables are all sauteed and have been liquefied, I'm going to use my blender and puree them. So we got to pulse it first to let out the steam and the pulse is right there. That looks really good. Okay, you want to pour it in there? And just add all this? Add the whole thing in here. I'm going to let it simmer for just five minutes and that's just to bring everything together. And I'm going to add our final ingredient, a can of coconut milk. So. Pour that over there, and Rania, if you wouldn't mind, 
Stirring it. Stirring it up. And then our soup is ready. Very good. Do you think you can repeat this recipe at home? Definitely. So this is a real good starter for your anniversary dinner. Mm -hmm. And it goes really well with the roast beef, our side of mashed potatoes, and this wonderful dessert that you're preparing. Oh wow, that is really good. I love the coconut. I had fun having you in my kitchen. I hope you did too.